Hey guys, Crewman here, and in today's video, I'm going to get you up and mining on Xeno in five minutes, as well as including overclock settings for the 170HX. And I want to give a shout out to Hero Miners for sponsoring today's video, as they just launched their Xeno mining pool yesterday, April 7th, 2025. So thanks to Hero Miners for sponsoring today's video, and let's get right to it. So first, you want to go to Zeno's official site, Zeno.org, and you're going to need to set up a wallet. You're going to want to go to Ecosystem and Wallet. Now you have two options. You can either mine directly to an exchange or set up either Cake Wallet or Bitcoin.com Wallet. I'll leave it up to you with what you decide. And once you get your wallet set up, you're going to go to HiveOS. Now, this video assumes that you know the basics of HiveOS. So without further ado, let's get you set up on a flight sheet. So this is what a completed Hive flight sheet looks like in Hive. I blocked out the wallet address because for privacy purposes, but your wallet would go right there. So let's get you started at step one. First, you're going to want to go into your Hive OS dashboard and you want to navigate over to flight sheet. As you can see right up here, this is what an empty flight sheet looks like. Step two, you're going to want to pick the coin. The best way to, to find Zeno is just type ZA as I did right here. And then you want to select Zeno. The next thing you're going to want to do, which is step three, you're going to want to go ahead and add a wallet by clicking the add wallet button shown right here. When you click that, it's going to look something like this. On the address box, you're going to want to put your address there. On the name, you're going to want to name it. And then the source is optional. I don't usually do anything with the source, but that's completely up to you. So next, you want to go to step four. Now, I personally would recommend Hero Miners as that's my favorite pool. And if we're being 100% transparent, they're also sponsoring this video. So in order to use Hero Miners, you're going to want to select the pool and then you're going to drag down to configure and miner. And I will go into more detail about why I use Hero Miners in just a minute. Next, step five, you're going to want to select your miner. So you're going to want to scroll down till you see Regal, Rigel Miner or you can just type in RIG. That is the recommended miner for NVIDIA as basically right now you should really only be GPU mining on NVIDIA and basically either the 5000 series or the 170HXs in my humble opinion. So we're using Rigel Miner for the purposes of this video. Same step, once you have Rigel Miner selected, you're going to want to click the box that says set up your miner config. You're going to want to make sure your user, your algorithm is selected to ProgPals, your wallet, and your worker name look exactly as below. And then the pool URL, you're gonna to wanna to put your Hero Miners URL in. But let me take this moment to show you the Hero Miners dashboard and why I would recommend using Hero Miners. So Hero Miners is a new pool on the Xeno mining scene having just launched the day after this video was recorded. But the great thing about Hero Miners is they have a wonderful dashboard. And here you can see what mine looks like mining. I'm mining with a single 170HX right now that I set up using this guide and you can see the great thing about it is it'll show you your daily your weekly and your monthly projections for earnings now you generally are going to need to have your worker up for like 24 hours or so give or take so it can give you a proper analysis but it's great because it'll show you up here it shows you your average one hour hash rate six hour 24 hour and it gives you all the information that you're going to need and their payouts are on time and I've never had an issue getting paid by them. And I've been using Hero Miners since about 2022. So I've been using them for almost three years now. So when you when you go to get your Hero Miners mining pool set up, you're going to want to find the best server for you. So essentially, you're just going to want to look at the best location for you. I picked North America East because I live in the East Coast of the United States. But there's plenty of other ones for whatever works for you. You're just going to want to copy the address and then you're going to want to go ahead and paste it in the address URL right here. You can name your worker or not, that's totally up to you. And in the algorithm, you're gonna to wanna to put A-progpows, and then you're gonna to wanna to make sure you're running the latest Rigel Miner. So once all of those boxes are set up, you're good to go. And you have the option to leave the workers named or unnamed. For the purposes of this video, I just left mine unnamed. And here you can see a screen grab of it successfully mining. I have my address covered up for privacy purposes. Uh, but you can see my overclocks, the core offset is 260, I locked my core clock at 1225, and the power limit's 175. There's not much room, wiggle room to play around on the 170HX, and this is the 10 gig card, and you can apply these settings to the 8 gig card, you'll probably get a little bit more efficient hash rate. And you can see I'm successfully mining away right now. I didn't, I don't really have a picture of it mining because it's in my shed and it's on a test bench and it's really, really loud. So I didn't want to expose you to that guys. But like I said, I showed you it already mining in the hive GUI. And this is what it looks like on the hero miners pool. One more thing I want to add is 
If securing the network is a no-brainer for you, then consider going over to Hero Miners, as you can help spread out decentralization and help network security if you believe in Zeno and that kind of thing. So thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you to Hero Miners for sponsoring this video, and I hope this helped you out. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Peace out.